hello! Time to check out the nicest guys on the internet, or in the entire world, who knows? Uh, they will show us the way how to be uh, nice, I guess. <coughs> so let's hop into it. First up, we got... Uh, imagine thinking that this would get you somewhere. My boyfriend said I was getting thick because I went from uh, 109 to 115 pounds in like three months. Let's all laugh together. Wow, that you are quite light. Uh, but if you're that light, oh, I wouldn't be surprised if it that like obviously you, you didn't get fat, but that that's probably a more noticeable change than if I I change it by three pounds or like six pounds whatnot. <clears throat> you have a boyfriend? Why are you dating that jerk? When you can date someone that thinks you are Queen Cleopatra and would worship your ass uh, day in and day out. A guy like me would cuddle you all the time, would make you laugh all the time, maybe you're already doing that, would call you the most beautiful girl in the world every day, or they call you the most beautiful girl in the world every day, I would give you a bubble bath and cook for you, I would massage your head to toe, I would wake you up and lick your... lick you morning, noon and night? Hard past there, but I would change your life, but you ignore me and date this asshole. You deserve better. I think the main takeaway here is like, should I make the joke? Should I make the joke or should I make the, the real comment? I think I should make the real comment and I'm maybe like going to the joke. <laughs> Just to make it obvious. I suppose the main problem with the nice guys uh, generally is that they focus on uh, just building relationship uh, with and obsess obsess about one person and they focus on building relationship instead of like working on themselves I guess you know you shouldn't obsess about one person you just like you know you just do yourself uh, I mean you work on yourself and you know I guess someone's gonna come I guess you shouldn't be like obsessing over this girl who's super fat now why do you want that fat bitch okay you deserve better, uh, whatever you are. Right. But that's, that's like, major yikes right there. <laughs> oh my god, let's check the comments. Imagine thinking this is what women want. This is not what I want. <laughs> I mean, it, it did make some good offers right there. Uh, giving me a bubble bath. <laughs> Cooking for me. Uh, you know, I would be into that. Massaging my... Massaging me from head to toe? I don't know. Wake me up and lick me morning, noon and night. Nah, I don't know. Uh, hard pass there, bud. Overall, I would say no. Uh, you almost got me with the food. That's what he gets for being a nice guy. <clears throat> Whoa, that's pretty long. Hey, it's... Uh, Bob from Puff, uh, thanks for the number. You are a stunner. Okay. So what are you up to? Hey, uh, thanks, thanks, slow. I'm at work right now. I'll text you when I'm off. This is when you stop. Sounds good, beautiful. Okay. Uh, you should head to my place when you're off. We can have some fun. A little forward. Your lips are... Mm, are just mmm. I bet you do amazing things. Oh my fucking god. Do women do they have to deal with this shit? With that mouth. Where do you work? I can meet you there? So is that a no? Jesus Christ! And look at the time. He he sent this. I mean that is very forward, but I guess we don't know their history. So maybe this is not super creepy. But it kinda looks that way. Whatever. Uh, but, like, he just keeps spamming. Is that a no? Hello? <clears throat> Remember, like, two seconds ago when I said I was at work and I text you when I'm off? I'm still at work. Please stop uh, blowing up my phone. I don't think I'm interested in meeting up with, anymore, with you anymore. Have a good night. This is where you should block him. <clears throat> what the fuck? Why? Because I texted you? You gave me your fucking number and I just wanted to be nice and tell you you're beautiful and show my interest in you. Uh, guess that's, uh, guess what, uh, guess that's what the fuck I, I get for being a nice guy, right? Uh, 
so what you're just not gonna answer now fucking bitch you're lost guessing you're one of those chicks who likes uh, douchebags aren't you uh what the fuck ever you're lost uh i'm pretty sure she's not one of those girls who likes douchebags uh <laughs> that's pretty easy to tell jeez jeez this this went bad <laughs> uh damn he got the number and everything, and still managed to fuck it up. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, wow. He definitely. He was. He, wow. I don't know <laughs> where to even begin to describe him, but he really fucked it up. You avoided a major bullet right there. It's not worth getting laid that much. Uh, that might do it. Uh, chasing a girl worth. Uh, chasing is more important than any rules that might tell you to stop. Ooh, ooh, restraining order. <laughs> I think in this day and age, like, there's definitely the element of like, ooh, I want to get chased or I want to be seen. Like, fine, whatever. But like, if someone asks you out and say no, and you say no, or you just like give them run around, that's over. If you make that decision that you reject them once, that's game over, man. Then you're just giving up on the whole thing. It's not gonna be like a chase there. I mean, this shouldn't be about that, but like that should be like okay. I'm not 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 calling out anybody here, but like that's just really it. Like you know, there shouldn't be that element to it. You know, just like ask somebody out. Okay, they are not interested. Done. So, like, I guess there's like some element to it. Like with some girls that they they wanna be chased. I guess, but it's just not worth it. I'm just gonna say it's just not worth it. You know. They're just gonna if they if they're interested, they're just gonna they just gonna learn to say yes, I guess. So that's that's not about not about the guys, you know, it's not like you know going overboard just to get those women. It's not worth it, man. Uh not a good idea. <laughs> oh yes, harassing. The good old rule of being a gentleman. <laughs> because the thing is, like you might ask someone out very early and they say no. Because they just don't know you. Like I, I don't know you, like and then that you just don't try again because but like keep pushing out ah, fucking no no you shouldn't do that so you ask out once that's it once and done that that's that's the rule maybe they maybe they can ask you out but you definitely don't have any right to ask them out ever again this popped up in my facebook uh, memories from 2011 i drew this after getting rejected by a, a girl god what i was thinking hello leave me alone creep <laughs> wow Douchebag. Bitch, you fat. Oh, hey there, cutie. <laughs> so this is just basically some resentment that other guys are, are getting women while uh, some guys are feeling like they are, are doing more or they have a superior character. Your art has come a long way. <laughs> Alright, what else we got? The prequels... The prequel to my nice guy nightmare. Oh man. So, I guess that's the nice guy. <clears throat> so, so you're dating uh Bob now. I mean I mean uh like you met him last week and you're already dating. That sounds a little judgmental and nosy. <clears throat> yep, is that a problem? I mean it just kind of pisses me the fuck off that after all this time you won't even give me a chance. That's all I'm asking for a chance. A fucking chance like for fuck's sake why not just say oh i don't know how would you handle this like this is again just such a uh attachment to the idea of this one person and you're just trying to be good to this one person and the thing is i think girls are more guilty of this they just try to make themselves available and they just try to be seen and they just kind of want the other person to uh initiate so this is not definitely not a one-sided issue. I could make you so goddamn happy if you would just let me. Bro, I mean, all you would need it to do, you know, I, that's that's a good thing, you know. He he didn't initiate a relationship uh, when she had the relationship. And he had feelings, that's fair game. But... But he could have just said, like, yeah, you... I, I guess, I guess, I guess, guess I get it. So maybe... He wanted to wait until he asked her out, but come on, man. Again, you're just way too emotionally attached to this one person. Uh, Bob, you're not doing this right, uh, again. Again? What? 
I'm just telling it like it is. You pass me up for some random guy who doesn't know you or understand you and has nothing going for him. Why are you even going the, uh, uh, this long to explain yourself? Well, as if you understand me, I've already told you that I don't like you that way. Also, don't talk shit about that person. He actually a really great person. Maybe get to know the guy before. Uh, slap a worthless label on him because you're jealous. I don't need to fucking know him to get what he's about. Ooh, He's just like every other fuckboy you date. Yeah, maybe he's good looking, but there is uh, nothing beyond that. I've been there for you consistently. I wish you would get over the fuckboy stage and get with the motherfucking man. Fuck dude. Lol, okay. Well, I think that's enough edge and self-pity for one night. Bye. Yeah, you can just uh, drop this guy. I don't know. It's just a bummer because I'm not the kind of person who say like, Fuck yeah, this dumb bastard. Like, okay, I could be that. But I just like think like, oh, this guy's misguided. You know? But he called dibs on you first. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I don't know. I should just make jokes, but... <laughs> I don't know. You have to date him, even if you <laughs> don't like him. He got there first. Follow the rules. And I love his uh, winning, uh, whining about how she's dating someone she just met. Like, that's an inappropriate. He can't quite grasp that, uh, how dating works, uh, because he just lurks around hoping some woman who has clearly stated she's not interested will uh, hit rock bottom and finally give him a chance. Part of the problem is that, you know, that he didn't change as a person. Like, like if if you want to be seen a different light, I'm not saying you should. I'm, I'm just against, uh, like, going way too emotionally attached with one person. But if you want to be some be seen as someone else, you just, just work on yourself, I guess, right? This is so sad. Respecting women. Uh, calling all women sluts and telling them to go back to the kitchen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, one of them is his own twin sister. That just that just shows how well it works. <laughs> oh my god. But this is a uh, problem. Like, uh, how is this a thing? Like, uh, like these guys are definitely learning this from somewhere. A friend of mine rejected her friend uh, sexual advances on uh, New Year's Eve when uh, she just needed a place to crash safely for the night. He's been texting her crap uh, like this since. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I now understand why your ex doesn't want anything to do with you. I see why you can't hold a job <laughs> with that with that attitude. You can say all you want to attack me, be spiteful, go for it. It reflects on how insecure you are. The difference between me and you is that you always wa want me to be miserable while I pray that you'll find peace of mind. The only thing I regret is ever trying to help the wrong people. Good luck in life. I'll be blocking you now. <laughs> all because I wouldn't have sex with you? <laughs> oh my god. That's a crime! <laughs> okay. Uh, this guy who has... Who was her friend before all this tried to come on to this poor girl while she was tired, intoxicated and in need of rest. And the moment she said no, he responded... <laughs> so when are you gonna pack your things? Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sure, dude. Uh, you trying to catch my pink eye is real romantic. Well, there's a lot of text here. I didn't expect this. You know what fucking sucks about this? Despite me being uh, nice and uh, bringing you everything you needed while you're sick and your so-called boyfriend couldn't be bothered to be with you, you're still not willing to go on a date with me. I'm really nice guy and I guess it's just true that nice guys finish last. <sighs> Thing is, helping people is nice. It is nice, but you're not really entitled to anything uh, via that. 
Like, if you feel like someone is taking advantage of you, you can just stop. You know, it's not like, you know, we just hold it against them. Like, okay, like, you can just say, like, okay, this was a bit of a loss, you know. I was, I was being nice to this person and, you know, it's a really one-sided thing, you know. It, it a little bit sucks, but, you know. Sometimes that's just how it is, you know. But it kind of... Like, of course, it's kind of problem here is that, you know, if you're just nice with an agenda, uh, your intentions count uh, quite a bit. Um, no, first off, I didn't ask you to show up uninvited to my apartment. I had pink height, dude. It's not really a good idea for anyone to be around me. Hence why uh, Bobby couldn't uh, be bothered to be with me. Secondly, you're completely right. You have old viney narcissistic arrogance. That's pretty much uh, standard with you. Really nice guy and I guess it's true that nice guy... Okay, I, <clears throat> I see. What? Standard with you nice guys. Furly, being nice doesn't mean I'm obligated to go out on a date with you. Grow up and uh, move the fuck on somehow. Fuck you, dumb cunt. Seems like a lot of people need to work on their emotions. You shouldn't let your emotions guide you. Uh, you should just conquer your, your own emotions. It works. It's easy. It should be like a key skill, honestly. God damn it. <laughs> it's all cringe. I'm such a nice guy, but if the nice guy has a derogatory uh, meaning to it, then why would even people use that? I don't get it. To her, and I always put up with her mood swings and let her cry to me and shit. And I'm so in the friend zone, she openly talks about fucking other guys. <clears throat> <laughs> That's what I call being a friend. <laughs> yeah, if... Uh, yeah, your friend is just comfortable talking about stuff with you. That, that's a good thing. If you were such a nice guy, you wouldn't be complaining about her treating you like a friend. If you only put up with her in hopes that maybe one day she'll fuck you. Uh, you're not a nice guy. You're not a nice guy and you don't deserve to have her. The only reason you don't deserve to be in, in the friend zone is because you're not a friend at all. You're a selfish prick who puts your dick before her feelings. Damn. I feel like these guys don't need to uh, necessarily change too much to have the right idea. But yeah, no, no. They actually need to change quite a bit. Because they focus on the other people. They get obsessed with other people. That's not good. But I, I, I don't, I'm not really suited to uh, give advice here. Out of respect for her and himself, he should Sever ties. Their friendship obviously hurts him, and she deserves an actual friend. Yeah. That's why I really value honesty and uh, and I really value intentions in a way. You know, just honesty and uh, an openness and intentions. Like it's just so damn important, I guess. I I can deal with like other people fucking me over unintentionally. Are women even allowed to reject me, considering how nice of a guy I am? I don't know. Rocks! Who likes rocks here? I don't get it. Who even likes rocks? I even fucking hate wearing anything, because... It just annoys me. I don't, I don't like wearing uh, watches, I don't like wearing necklaces, I don't like wearing rings at all. Anything that's on me, and that's not clothes, it's just, it's just annoying. And definitely I wouldn't have a special value for like a, a shiny rock. Whatever the person who made it meant to say seriously or not, at least a few people will have uh, shared that being serious. Alright. Whatever. Uh, found a nice guy in the comments of a nice guy post. Wait, where, where is this posted? Close women go for leaders, being the natural followers they are. Partly they go for assholes because they are their own authority and since women are highly influenced by authority will gravitate uh, toward assholes they don't want nice guys because nice guys are followers they want they put women above themselves yeah that that's actually uh 
yeah, you shouldn't really put anybody above them above yourself, I guess, because that's very uncomfortable. They are weak. They capitulate to women who are supposed to be following a man's lead. <laughs> this could be a nice guy's post of its own. Women go after leaders. Okay, yeah, I can see uh, them being an attractive uh, quality because they are natural followers. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Whatever. <laughs> okay, let's go one more. Uh, someone of my friends on Facebook shared this. Sucks being a good dude in a generation full of girls who don't even appreciate it. This seems to be a very common, uh, common uh, element here. Is that they just don't focus on themselves. They try to gain personal favor. And uh, yeah, that's it. And 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 complain about like often like uh, berate other people, even the even the person of their their obsession, and uh, definitely anyone else, uh, because that's actually a, a very easy way to to well gain some very very fake uh, uh, faith in yourself, some confidence. Because you know if you think that like, you're the shit and everyone else sucks, like. That's easy, right? But if you think you're you're pretty, uh, you just you're just a work in progress. That's the best way to look at it. And everyone else is a work in progress. I mean, that's just how it goes. You know? Do they realize that this doesn't make them sound like a, a good guy? <laughs> Sucks being a good guy in a generation full of girls who don't even appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, you just call out all the girls <laughs> that way. So you basically you call out all the other dudes for being shit and you call out all the other women for being uh, unappreciative of you. This is this basically calls out everybody. Every every other guy and every other and every woman. God damn it. Who is this supposed to be for? For himself. For him to upvote himself. Fuck yeah. Anyway, that's it for it guys. I don't know if this nice guy's forum is gonna be the one I'm gonna checking out. It seems to be a very uh, common theme here. Uh, I, poor guys. Whatever. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.